Hi everybody, I'm Alex from GardenWorks, and whether we like it or not, fall has officially arrived here in the Lower Mainland. But that doesn't mean that there isn't anything you can do in the garden to get ready for next year. So today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects, planting garlic. So today we're going to be specifically talking about growing garlic in containers, but a lot of these principles will still apply if you're growing them in the ground. So when you're picking a container to grow your garlic in, there's two main things that you want to keep in mind. Firstly, you need to have it well draining. Nothing is worse for garlic than sitting in saturated, soggy soil. The second thing that you want to keep in mind is you need to have a depth of at least 12 inches. More if you can get it. So, the next decision that you'll have to make is what sort of soil that you're going to be using. There are two main things to keep in mind with garlic, is that they are very, very heavy feeders, so you'll need something very nutritious and also you need really good drainage. So to start, I filled up my container almost all the way to the top with a good quality organic potting soil. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of our cactus soil and mix that into the first three inches of the soil. This is going to serve to improve the drainage, make sure that that garlic isn't sitting saturated and soggy all winter long. So now with our soil prepared, it's time to start planting our garlic. So today I've chosen three different varieties of garlic, all which are 100% organic and produced locally here in BC. Specifically, I've chosen the Almighty Red, the Red Russian, and the Yugoslavian Porcelain. These three varieties of garlic are all hard neck garlic. That means they'll have a rigid stalk to them. There are some soft neck varieties that will also do well here. You'd want to choose these if you want to do the classic garlic weave. So to prepare your garlic for planting, first thing you'll want to do is remove each individual clove. You're not planting a whole head, you're only planting one clove in one spot. You'll want to remove that outside paper layer, but leave the inner protective layer around the actual clove of garlic. So now that the garlic is prepped and ready to go, it's time to start to think about planting. Now, when you're planting garlic, the general rule of thumb is that you want to plant them about four to eight inches away from each other. Now, since we're growing in a container and space is at a premium, I'm going to bring mine a little bit closer and plant them at four inches. What I like to do is I snap off a stick four inches long and use that as my measuring stick. And that way I can just place it down, plant the next piece of garlic. Plant it, push it down, plant the next piece of garlic. So once you've marked out your spacing, Now's the time to start digging the holes to plant your garlic in. Now, the garlic wants to sit about one to two inches below the surface of the soil. And so you want to dig a hole that's about three inches down so that you can then put your garlic in and then fill in back on top with soil. The other thing that I like to include is a sprinkle of bone meal in the bottom of the hole. This is a nice high phosphorus fertilizer that'll help establish those root systems, but you really don't need much, just a little sprinkling. So when you're placing the garlic cloves in the holes, you want to make sure that you orient it so that the pointy side is facing up and the fat side is facing down. So with our garlic all planted up and ready to go, there's just a few last things you need to take care of to set it up for a successful season of growing. Firstly, you want to give that a good drink of water. Making sure that they get watered after they planted is very important to get those root systems started growing. The second thing that I like to do is put a protective layer of mulch over top of the soil. This will help protect them from cold during the winter time, as well as protect from moisture loss during the summertime. I like to use straw, just because we have ample of it here at GardenWorks, but you could also use bark or any other material as a mulch. So with the watering and the mulching done, our garlic is all set and ready to grow. You want to make sure that you put it in a location where it is going to receive as much sunshine as you can. That will be the best way to set yourself up for success. Make sure you stay tuned and check back in with us in the springtime when we'll be uploading more videos showing you the process as the garlic grows. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.